here is the header tank I will be using with my aircraft. It is two gallons and in the top is a space for the sender which I will show momentarily and basically has two ports at the bottom. One is for the outlet, the other one will be for a drain and in the top we have a entrance for the left and right fuel tank and for a vent. It's important to vent the tank independent of the fuel tanks also. And of course the idea here is that this will collect fuel from both tanks before supplying it to the engine. And that way I can monitor my last drop of fuel from my main tanks because they must pass through here first. And I'll have a sender with a gauge and I'll know the minute this starts becoming less than completely full. If it does become less than completely full, I have about 20 minutes left with the two gallons uh, provided to the engine. So it's a way to use up all of the fuel in your tank and get a warning when you know you have a certain amount of fuel left. And in about 20 minutes, you know, based on five gallons or so per hour of fuel, and maybe less than that if you're going slow, you can monitor exactly how much fuel you have left. Here is the fuel sender which fits very nicely into the tank. It's based on the reed switch principle. Notice there is no mechanical connection to the float, so it's pretty foolproof. And this will give me a very accurate indication of how much fuel, fuel is left in that sender tank. I'm going to mount the tank using these tabs on either side. Back here behind the baggage compartment and I put in a reinforcing L angle along the edge here and the bottom so you really can't tell from looking at the outside of the aircraft but this has an extruded L angle replacing the bent L that was in there before because we have approximately oh, 12 pounds of fuel when this is full and we need to support it securely especially in maybe a rough landing will have more than 12 pounds of pressure so we want to mount it adequately inside. And the tank is drilled and tapped to accept the sender and we simply put on our gasket and screw it down in place. We can add the appropriate connections on the top. These are threaded locations and we can use either barbed fuel fittings or flare connections as so desired.